Hello, Mr. Taiwo. Beautiful to have you in the house today. Yeah, good afternoon. Good mm -hmm. afternoon, my brother. Good to see your face again. Good to see you always. <laughs> <laughs> so how is the weather in your side? We are, are doing cold? well. Is it normal? What the temperature normal. looks like? It has never been normal at any point since I came. No, the Canadian people will say uh, UK temperature is always normal compared to Canada. <laughs> but it's it's subnormal to me as an African woman. So you are supposed to used to it over many years now. So uh, it should be uh, normal to you. So, <laughs> so if if me I say it's not normal, it's quite un understandable than you saying it's not normal after how many years? You are enjoying the warmth now from all angles. So this cap that is like APC presidential candidates, I don't understand you. Uh, one thing about me is this. I always tell people and show that I am an African man. You are. A Nigerian to be precise. Oh. And Omoluabi <laughs> to be, as in to put it straight. So I am a complete Yoruba man. All right, I can't see your Agbada regalia anyway, so that's no biggie. But this cap is like so. I... No, it's just it's just for you to just represent anywhere you go. So this alone has shown that this is an African man. <laughs> okay, okay. So yeah. we should associate you with the people that chased us into the cold weather. Ah, uh, should I say that? I will say no because oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, the fact that I'm a Nigerian, the fact that I'm a Yoruba, does not mean I'm a politician. Oh, all right. Yeah. Cool. We are here today, family members from all walk around the world. Um, we've got something beautiful dis to discuss with the engineering guys. You know, it's been me and the nurses, the care yeah. workers, and but today it's a different ball game entirely. So the person you are seeing here is engineer Okiki Olu Taiwo. I is a well seasoned engineer. Uh, I want to disclose where he was to you before he moved to King Charlie's <laughs> Kingdom. But yeah, he's got something beautiful to tell us about a recruitment going on for the engineers right from Nigeria. He has seen many people that had trooped into the United Kingdom through this pathway. You not go wrong if you follow the pathway is going to show every one of us honestly read my lips you're not going wrong okiki you have the floor please tell us everything about this process how to go about it what qualifications should people possess are there examinations to be written and how long will the whole process take and can you tell us whether you are really sure that this thing is is there and is around and it is real. Okay. Uh, let me first and foremost uh, thank you for the wonderful job you've been doing for nurses. Okay. And uh, let me also appreciate you from the engineering family that you want to extend your kind of gesture to the engineering uh, people around the globe. So it's a wonderful one. So I felt jealous that why is it always nurses, nurses, nurses and nurses? So at the time I was like, won't I change my profession and become an engineer <laughs> nurse? Does. Right? No, become an engineer nurse. But I feel like no, my profession is my profession and I'm oh. proud of it. Oh, would have loved so the that same vein, the same way that uh, they need nurses around the globe, they also need engineers because uh, we uh make the world lively livable and uh if you if, if you if you check very well you see that there is nowhere that you go to in the in, in the world that you will not see a touch of engineers nowhere no way so in that in that regard so i feel like oh we should also uh tell our people the opportunity that awaits engineering people uh around the world people have been migrating to australia people have been moving to canada now it is time for engineers to relocate to the united kingdom thank you and they are coming they are not just coming they are not we are not engineering are not migrants so if you're an engineer you are not a migrant you are an expatriate so we want to export uh the talent you are a global talent on your own so if you go to any any anywhere in the world you are an expatriate you are not a uh, an economical migrant so 
I, I always tell people this, and this is my position. So if uh, uh, a citizen of American, Australia, US can come to Africa and we call them an expatriate because we need their skill, we need, we need them. So we feel like uh, that there is a place for them to feel, there's a problem for them to feel in Africa. So if I'm also going into other part of the world, I'm not an immigrant, I'm going an there as an expatriate. Yeah. So you need my skill. That's why you want me to come to your country. Exactly. So we should get it right. So nobody should see us as an immigrant. No, we are not. So you have a problem and we are coming there with our skill, with our knowledge, with our experience to solve your problem. All right. So if you could solve your problem on your own, you will not call on us. Yeah. Reasonable. So we should keep promoting this. We should keep telling people this. So I don't buy the idea of saying jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. I hate it. When I, anytime I hear that word jackpot, I get, as in I get angry. Yeah. Honestly, because where are we jackpot into? Does that mean we don't have the skills, skill select and we are in, in, in the part of this world? No, it's not possible. If we don't have what they need, they will not ask us to come to their country. They are begging us. Yeah. We are not the one begging them. So they need us the same way we need them. So they are the one begging us. If we don't come, so we they solve their problem on their own. No, they cannot. They've tried internally and they feel like they could not solve the problem. That is why they feel like, oh, let's go to the other part of the world and bring people with experience, with knowledge, with qualification to with come skills. and help us solve our problem with the skills. Thank you, ma. Yeah. So right now it is the time for engineers. And uh, like I usually say, we need to prepare for migration. Migration is not there to prepare for us. So how do we prepare? By getting the experience, the skill sets, the qualification, the, the, the language exam that we need to do. So once we have this, a time will come that any of these advanced country, or no, don't let, don't let me say advanced because uh, there is nothing like an advanced country in my own dictionary. Country is a, a country is a country. So how we manage our country now depends on us. So, all this other country in the other part of the world might need you, might need your skill set, might need the experience. So if you are prepared, then when the, uh, the, the train is moving, you'll be able to join the train and land where you feel like you want. Mm. So you don't wait for immigration. Immigration will not wait for you. You rather wait for immigration be prepared that's the motto for boy scouts so i was mm -hmm. a boy scouts while in primary school and our motto has been be prepared so if you are not prepared the opportunity will just come and it will pass you by without benefiting from it today so what we are bringing to the people uh is how engineers can be recruited into the united kingdom from nigeria okay it is just like Dr. ABC. So I don't want to go that to, into the real definition of Dr. ABC. So Mama, we surely know it. Dr. ABC is uh, something that anybody can just do once you are trained. So this migration pathway is just like Dr. ABC. So it's not a rocket science. It's just that if you have this and have this and do this, you are there already. So let me just use this opportunity to also uh, put this out as a disclaimer. So any information dishing out today. Uh, uh, is not an immigration advice because I'm neither an immigration lawyer nor an immigration officer. So it's just for service for humanity. So we are not giving this information as a professional. So we are just giving the little that we have out for people to make in-depth research on their own. And in the process of making research, you know more. That is what I have learned. In the process of making research, you know, more. I'm looking uh, forward to be like Mama. So that's my target. She knows, she knows <laughs> much about Australia, Canada. Talk about anything in the nursing sector. She's there. Or nursing migration, she's there. So <laughs> I wish to be like you. So maybe I will start from, maybe I will start from uh, UK. Then after that, uh, I will move to New Zealand, move to Australia, <laughs> move to Canada, move to Republic of Go Ireland. Over. So that. So that you will not think people that are supposed to be creating and making gadgets for nurses and doctors to use, you will not turn all of them to nurse, nurses. So that's my own target too. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, recently, uh, Amazon is currently recruiting engineers from all over the world. 
from all over the world. Then how does it go? Is you there's this an exam that you need to write, even though if you don't have uh, the minimum engineering qualification, which is which is national diploma, you can still be a beneficiary of this uh, wonderful recruitment. Mama, I'm not sure you are still getting me. I'm hearing you clearly. Like, okay, so you don't need to have national diploma. You don't need to have a national diploma. You don't need to have first degree. So all you need to do is just to get prepared, have the skill sets, and write City and Gate of London. It's an exam. It's a technical exam that you can write. Either you 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 attended a technical school or you feel like, oh, you can read, you can write, and you have the technical skill. So you don't need to go to any school. They are not requesting for your ND, HND, or BSc, or MSc. I can tell you, if you have MSc in Nigeria and I have this city and gate level three exam, if I have the certificate, they will recruit me before they recruit an MSc. Okay, good. So in the UK, they, they recognize that city and gate exam. All right. Yeah, just like a uh, trade test exam for Australia assessment for engineering and all that. So they recognize this. So if you are in the UK, and you have this city and gate exam level three, either mechanical or electric, uh, electric. I can tell you, if you go to the job board and start looking for companies that are recruiting engineering, what they will ask from you is NVQ level three. And this, this NVQ level three is just city and gate uh, level three, which uh, it's quite simple to pass. It's not that so difficult. Just lay your hand on the, the training material and the past questions. You just practice. People have been doing IITs and they are maxing it out. So I don't want to believe that this should also be difficult for people to do, especially mm. if you have uh, technical knowledge. Science students, technical school students, or artisan that is that is very that is writing and uh, reading skill is okay. So you should be able to pass the exam. Just prepare do the exam and have the certificate. Once you have that certificate, so all you need to do is, currently Amazon is recruiting. If you can go to the Amazon job uh, bank, uh, Amazon career uh, sites, register with them, then uh, just streamline your uh, your search engine to United Kingdom, search for maintenance engineer, search for reliability engineer, search for anything engineer or um, technician. So it will bring out all those jobs uh, on Amazon sites, and you will see the one that are actually giving sponsorship. Okay. Yeah, there are so, a lot um, of jobs there with will, sponsorship. Will you, will you be supplying us the actual link after this discussion? Yeah, yeah. The link, I will, I will send the link to you so we right. can register. So not only Amazon, you can go to all these multinational companies. You can go to Nestle. You can go to... um can go to uh, what's this company so don't worry I'll, I'll get back to you on the list of all those companies but amazon is currently recruiting that i'm aware of that i'm sure of i at least i know of 10 people that have been recruited by amazon and they are in the united year. kingdom already right absolutely absolutely when did they start absolutely. all the all the process all the processes when did it start it's been long but people are not aware uh -uh. <laughs> I'm, telling you, I'm telling you the facts. It's and been so, long. Like, um, you, you said if someone didn't have MS, MSc or anything like that, uh, like Masters mm. of Science, but if they've gone to technical school and they yeah. possibly choose to write the city and guild, the city exam, and guild or city and guide. Three. City yeah. and guild. If they write level that three. exams, level three? Yes. Okay, so there are different levels. Yeah, yeah. So the so one with they the need is level three. Okay, with the person just register for level three straight up, or they will write one, two, three? You can decide to write whichever one you want to write. You can start from level three. You can tell them that you want to go and write level five. Level five. So ideally, level three is equivalent to national diploma in Nigeria. Okay. But the thing is, the company, they don't really recognize our diploma, so mm. to say. 
I'm not, it's not written anywhere, but from what I see, mm. it's like, because we've test run everything, we have, we've actually done our research to know what they're actually looking for. So we asked some people to apply with MSc, some people to apply with BSc, some people to apply with HND and ND. Why we ask some people to apply with ordinary city and gate? Don't let me call it ordinary because it's also a certificate. There is no certificate that is ordinary. Once no. it can give you what you want, so it's not an ordinary. So to write city and gate and lo and behold, they picked those that has that have the city and gate exam level three. So that is when we concluded that oh, the primary criteria is this. Uh, city and gate. It got to a point that somebody even wrote to them after the interview that they were requesting for uh, a certificate that he asked BSc, can he do uh, NIRIC or conversion of uh, BSc to? They said the, what they want is that city and gate. So does it mean they are not accepting our trade test certificates? No, it's city and gate because what is equivalent to that level three is city and gate level three, MVQ, uh, MVQ three. So what is equivalent to MVQ three that is acceptable by the company is city and gate. Okay, so, so why I say people should have this city and gate is don't be surprised that USA might come up tomorrow and be accepting city. They will they will accept city and gate than our our, our uh, Nigerian qualification. That's just my observation, and it's just my that, personal feeling. Personal than our opinion. higher institution qualification. It's not a fact. Yes. Assumption. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So this city and guild test is it all about the engineers or engineering alone, or are there other professionals that can write city and guild? Like maybe someone is a chef, someone okay. is a dressmaker, hairdresser. Are, are, are they able to like write that yeah. or is, yeah, is it all about engineering alone so the best of my knowledge is just technical skill exam so mainly for engineering okay mainly for engineering so you just need to be either mechanical or electrical so just register for one you don't need to have everything how about civil I'm not sure. Yeah, civil. Yeah, yeah, civil also. All it's, right. it's mainly for engineering. It's mainly Thank for engineering. You. So it's due that we you now choose whichever one that you want to do. All right. So with yeah. that, which other documents will they need? Passports will be there, yeah. I believe. Which yeah. other documents? Yeah, you you must have traveling document. That's number one thing. Mm -hmm. Then after that, a well structured and prepared CV with weight of experience. Okay. What what defines wealth of experience? Your year of experience and the, the nature of your job, your job description. All right. Because on the adverts, you know, majorly in this part of the world, uh, recruitment is not being done manually. It's, mm. It is AI that will screen your application. Yeah. And how, how is it working? It will check your qualification. If you have qualification, it will check your work experience if it aligns with the job description. Mm. So for this kind of a thing, you don't use a generic CV. You okay. tailor your CV down to the job description. So if the job description says that, oh, you should be able to carry out maintenance activities mm. on machine or equipment, so all you need to do is check what you are doing in Nigeria, your, your, your work experience, and mm -hmm. tailor it down to that job description. So that's number one. You need your traveling documents, which is your international passport. Uh, you need this city and gate level three certificates. Then after that, you will need to write IELTS because it's a work visa, it's a work skill migration. Okay, yeah, yes, yes. What and as we know, we before target? You... So the regular immigration the, the band, target of band five, band, right? Yes. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. But I, I advise people to even go for band six. If you mm. can pass uh, the trade, the city and gate uh, exam, you should be able to get band six conveniently. All right. And if you feel like you don't trust yourself, you don't, you are not, you are not so sure of your performance in English. Uh, you are. I, I, I'm 100% sure that the person anchoring this, the person in charge of this, uh, is a tutor. So I learned from from. Ah, if you guys care to know, 
and there is no way you go to her that you will not get a minimum of advances. Advances is not even your target if she trains you. So I will not say much than that because <laughs> oh, this platform is not for advertisement. Um, so if she wants me to advertise, you need to pay me for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Thank you, my chief. God bless you for all these revelations. There are things that we probably, many people never uh, had inclined that things like this are happening and everybody is just groping for care, work, and this and this and that. But here is a very beautiful one that people can just come in, jump into their own profession, and they will feel like, keep feeling fulfilled while they are doing what they have known how to do all yeah. the days of their lives and this is quite sweet honestly it's music to my ears yeah. now um what i want to know is are there preparatory materials for this city and guild exams are there trainers for this city and guild exams how many days or weeks or can someone prepare for before they will be ready for this test uh okay uh I don't know if we have trainers in Nigeria, okay. but what I will do is this, I will make research on that. But okay. once you register, you'll be given a material, preparation material that you can read, then some past questions that you can also attempt uh, to check your performance before you go for the exam. So it's something that is doable, especially for anybody that has science background so it's not something that is that's so difficult to achieve so it's, it's about mindset it's about uh, setting the target and a goal it's about being determined that oh this is what i want for myself or people going for this route they are going through this pathway they are going through hk me i don't want to go through that i want to go through my professional uh body my, my professional uh uh pathway so, and I can tell you, if you come through this pathway, from my analysis and research, uh, Amazon will not pay you anything less than thirty-five thousand pounds per annum. Man six. So people that are I'm coming. Very, very... <laughs> people are coming with like trade certificate into band six. Salary. No, no, it's not trade certificate. It is actually a diploma. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, Kiki, you are making your actually, people proud, though. <laughs> no, it is, it is actually a diploma certificate. It's not easy to be an engineer. It's not easy. <laughs> a nurse, people will say that a nurse, a, a, any mistake that a nurse or a doctor make can only take a life. But if an engineer make a mistake, it can take the whole town, the whole city, and the whole country. Um, uh... <laughs> so, you, so, we need to be respected. So, we need to be valued. It's not only nurses, nurses, this nurse, nurse, engineer, we are silent as in we, we make our money and we don't, we don't loud it, we don't shout. A friend of mine that just got the job is being paid 52,000 pounds per annum. This Wait, is a fact. So when, did they come from Nigeria or they've been in the UK before? Either you come from Nigeria, either you have been in the UK, once they pick you for that particular job, they will not say because you are coming from Nigeria, they will now pay you lesser than. No, it, it's, it's none of their business where you are coming from. He got the job. Okay, can, can I still switch into engineer? <laughs> no, it's, it's never, it's never, it's, it's not late to... You, when I'm thinking of switching to nurse, you want to become an engineer. <laughs> I want, to, yeah, that's what I want to become now. Uh, uh, I don't sleep and wake up and be any fifty-two thousand. You don't just sleep and wake up, or you solve problems. <laughs> you know, it's very easy to deal with human being than to deal with machines. Okay. If I come to the hospital, if I come to meet you as a nurse, now you ask me some questions that I will answer you. How are you feeling? I will tell you, I'm feeling a dig. I'm like this, I'm like this. And from there, from all those symptoms, you can actually diagnose or ask me to go for a test. But in general, we talk to non-living things. Hmm. And before you can be able to talk to non-living things, you must be able to understand their language. So we are doing lots of jobs. In fact, that money is even too small for us to take. It's small. That's 
52,000 is more for engineers for what we are doing. Thank you very much. How do you mm. think it's not small? It's, it's really small, to be fair. It's <laughs> very <laughs> small. So how many so years POS is, how many years certificate of sponsorships uh, does Amazon give out? Uh, for now, and with the trend, it's five years. Five? Yes. Wow. It's and people years. will be coming so with their I, family I members. Know. Yes, down is sure. Down is sure. Down is sure. And that my friend that got it here, uh, they actually pay for his visa and all his IHS. family members. Everything. No, they paid for his family, family members. members' visas. Everything. Everything. No, they only pay for the main applicant. I said, maybe I'm telling you what I am aware of. <laughs> this is not <laughs> and this is not an assumption. It's please, my close. We finished now, together. Stop we dine and went together. Me. They paid. No, that is that is the way it is in engineering. If you if you are able to get employment in all these multinational, either Nestle, either uh, P and G, either Amazon's, they will pay for your family. Everything, all being inclusive. Is this now I'll go and start school school now to start the engineering? <laughs> it's never too late. I okay. also want to be a nurse, all so right. I want to be talking to people. I'm tired of talking to machines and equipment. <laughs> I want to be talking directly with people. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Taiwo. How about the engineers that are already here that are struggling? Because I'm sure some people are still struggling and they are like, oh, let me get a job. Let me get support work and all this and get COS and all that. Are they able to do this too? And what, like, which centers are there in Nigeria to write these exams in? Uh, just, I think there, there are centers in Lagos. I, I, I think there are. So, I will get more information about the centers, and uh, I'm also working on something to prepare uh, uh, a document, uh, like step by step, a guide for people. So everything will be included in that guide. But there are centers in Nigeria that they, there is no way, there is nothing that they want to do that will be international. Something that will not be in Lagos. We should that one is is hundred percent. Okay. That will not be in Lagos. Mm -hmm. So if you just Google. City and Game Center in Lagos. Centers. In Lagos, you will mm. see it. It's in Lagos. Okay. So let them just prepare. Those that are here, if they don't have that City and Gate, they can write it in the UK. Okay. So they can write it in the UK and get their City and Gate, then start applying for a job. All if right. they can bring people from Nigeria. Mm. It will be much more easier for them to recruit from the United Kingdom. You know how it's how it goes now. You need to advertise mm. in in the UK. If you don't see people taking up the job, that is when you take it to uh, another. They actually country. have loads of centers. They have in Abuja. They have in Akwaibom, Delta, Kaduna, Lagos. Lagos have like you know um, you are very good in research. Me, I'm not good in research. I only have information. Four centers in Lagos now that I can see here already. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So you always like to give people hundred percent. You don't want them to go and do research at <laughs> all. I was we we're talking about center now. Piam, you don't you don't go online. Because some people will I... not even Google search. They will they will want me to search for them. So let me Google do it once and for yeah, all. Yeah, you are That's... trying. No one was actually yeah, asking me sense. how much is Australia visa. I just said, oh, mm. for six family that I know, this is what I they paid for one person. This is what happened. I've given this person the breakdown. What main the main applicant will pay? What the one next to the main applicant will pay? How much children will pay? Then this person was now asking me. Then how much will four people pay? Imagine that, just that to do I addition. just got angry. <laughs> and just to do addition. <laughs> No, no, that's the way God created you. I no, don't I know where that you one see. I was like, oh, oh, oh. I, I don't know where you see how God created you. I'm still always asking myself. <laughs> we are how, grace for everyone. God, how there did are you... special things about you too. So ah, we, are, we are like, there are things about me that you would just wonder. So mama could do this. I'm disappointed. And there are things about you too that are so lovely. No, you, and you, I've us. never been, I've never felt being disappointed about you. <laughs> you're, you're always there for people. Ah, even at your own tight schedule, you still be giving information. No, I wish to be like you honestly. Thank you, brother. 
right. Support of uh, me, support of I'm God. Also, I'm also in support of the our word, the recompense of goodness is. But my goodness has never reached <laughs> one quarter of the your own goodness. The recompense of so. goodness is goodness. That's cadre. <laughs> so, yeah, so I wish to be like you. <laughs> I've not even been hearing him saying that now. He's now talking deep thinking 2024. That guy is yes. always coming up with something <laughs> new every day. No. Don't mind him. He's an engineer. That's how we reason. That's how we think. <laughs> He's trying to be like me now. I tutor that guy. <laughs> no, Kodri is a very, very great person. <laughs> he is wonderful. I don't even know. You can't miss one uh, that. Thank you so much, uh, Okiki Olua. So, what else right. again? I think we've like sort of addressed everything. Are you happy for my people to, if they need help, to shout out to you, please? Always. All right. Thank you very much. Um, Always. family members, see his face. So look at him very well, though. He has Lagos bat mark. So yes. if you need I'm help complete, with regards to this, shout I'm out to complete, him. I'm a complete African man. Yeah. I keep saying this. Mm -hmm. they, I have I have this cap at work, Ed Warmer, that I always uh use when I'm going into production area, and this is the way I always put it on. <laughs> I just got to work one day. I was doing factory tour and I saw one of uh, the 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 Briton doing his cap like this. Yes, if I can, yeah, you are, you are, you are I take, influencing someone. See, but... I took I I always take Gary to work. I drank at Gary at work. Uh, brotherly, <laughs> don't do I inside take... the cold. <laughs> they will ask me. No, no, no. That was during the summer. They will ask me, "What are you drinking?" I will say, "Cassava flakes." <laughs> So, yes, now. So I'm proud of my culture. I'm proud so, of my So my heritage. boy to what, what uh, my boy to love Ogi Pap Akamu. Yes. So he used to so take I, that to school at some point. I, so they will be asking. They will say it's African custard. Yes, it's our own custard. <laughs> so Gary is Africa is. I really inspire it. Not a process like the custard. Sometimes I do mm. tell my wife to please prepare Eva for me. I'm taking Eva to work. If I will not disturb you from eating your food, if you are not, uh, you are not as in how do I put it? You you are, you feel embarrassed for taking your food for eating. Why should I? So anywhere I go, I am an African man, right. original. Yeah. Thank you so much, my chief. God bless you. So I will let people All have right. this idea and definitely, you know, people will definitely come back to you. Thank no you problem. so much. No problem. And uh, no problem. hopefully we still have reasons to invite you home here, Sonest. All right. Yeah, all right. thank all right. you. Thank you so all much right. for your patience. Thanks for all you do. God bless you massively.